These problems may look like giants to many of you. But what does God say about them? So David, David goes and, and uh, he brings some victuals to his brothers and some food. And uh, he hears Goliath talking trash. And he says, who is this uncircumcised? Somebody that don't have a covenant with God. Who is he talking about my God? <laughs> then David heard the reward that's going to go, gonna come as a result of whoever defeats Goliath. He said, I'll go fight him. Amen. And his brother said, you can't do it because you are small in stature. Go back home to daddy's house and mind them sheep. David said, no, no, no. I'm a warrior. I see myself different than what you see me. Listen to me now. Listen to me. Your family may think that you something else. They may talk about you and say that hey, you can't do it because we know where you come from. But you got to know within yourself. No, 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 no. I'm a giant killer. Yeah. Amen. I'm a giant killer. All right, all right. So, so I'm just talking, talking you through the story. So, 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 so uh, Saul says to David after David uh, says that he would go and fight the giant. He said, listen, I want to give you some armor to put on. Because you're going to need some protection. And so the armor that Saul gave to David, David said, I haven't, I haven't used this stuff before. This stuff is too heavy for me. You know, I haven't proven this in battle. Now what I do have is a memory of what God has done for me. I remember how God delivered me out of the hands of a bear and out of the mouth of a lion. And who is this uncircumcised Philistine? Amen. See, 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 watch this now. When you start seeing clearly from the spirit realm on what God is doing, you will see that the devil is fighting you for your faith. He's fighting you for your faith because he understands that if you have one faith victory, all of this stuff that's on the stage is gone. See, if you just, if you just win one time, and remember what God done for you the one time in the past. This stuff up here ain't nothing. Ain't nothing. So David said, no, 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 I haven't, I haven't proven this stuff. I haven't proven this stuff. Now, I, I, I see myself as a warrior. I see myself as a fighter. So I need to go, I need to, I, I can't go up against this giant hand-to-hand -hand combat. So what I need is I need something that will propel itself. So he goes to the brook and gets some stones. He says, now, now, now what I do have, I have the anointing on my life now. Now remember, in chapter 16, he just got anointed. Now the anointing is more than him just being king. He's going to be victorious. <laughs> Listen to me. The anointing is more than just a shout. The anointing is more than just a dance. The anointing is so that you can overcome and be victorious in every area of your life. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. So David goes down there and gets them stones. And he said, I see myself as victorious in the name of the Father. <laughs> I can see that. I can just see David say, I'm going to knock him down. I'm going to get this boy. He threw that stone, hit Goliath. Goliath went down, and then he got his sword and said, this day, I got your head. Whew. Cut it off. Hallelujah. But he's seen himself different. He's seen himself different. Now go to Numbers chapter 13. Numbers chapter 13. Hallelujah. What do you see? Amen. See, if you see yourself different than what the world sees you and stop letting them define who you are. Amen. You're not. <laughs> whew, amen. Amen. You're not some little woman on a video dropping it like it's hot. Amen. You are a woman of God. Amen. And a woman of God acts differently than the other folk. How you see yourself? What do you see? What do you see? And, and young people, young people, hear me now. 
you need to understand that you were created in the image of Almighty God. And you cannot allow the videos to define who you are. You start walking different because you've seen it on the video. You start talking different because you've seen it on the video. And you must understand that you were created in the very image of God. So you got to take your image not from what the world says, but from the creator of the thing. So if God says that you're a mighty man of God, no matter what your daddy said in the natural, no matter what your mama said, you are a mighty man of God. Amen. Amen. Ladies, I don't care what you've done. Don't let the devil tell you anything different. You are a virtuous woman of God. Amen. And your boy ass is looking for you. <laughs> yes, he's looking for you. But you have to see yourself differently than what you are, you've been seeing already. In, in, in Numbers chapter 13. Numbers chapter 13. Numbers chapter 13. God gives the children of Israel an assignment. Go out, spy out the land that I said was flowing with milk and honey. Right? So they got 12 spies. And they went out and done what God said. Verse 25. And they returned from searching of the land after 40 days. And they went and came to Moses and Aaron and to all the congregation of the children of Israel unto the wilderness of Paran to Kadesh and brought back word unto them and unto all the congregation and showered them uh, uh, the fruit, showed them the fruit of the land. And they told him and said, we come into the land whither thou sendest us and surely it flowed with milk and honey. And this is the fruit of it. Now, what, now listen, look up for a second. What did they say? This is the promised land. It really is flowing with milk and honey. We got evidence that this is the land that God wants us to have. Oh, my goodness. Watch this now. Some of you right now got evidence of your healing. You got evidence of your deliverance. You got evidence of God coming through with the promises that he gave you a long time ago. Now, what are you saying about it? What are you seeing about it? Now, these people said this. We, we got evidence of this thing. But watch this. Watch this. Nevertheless, look at that contradiction. Yeah. That's like a but. But. <laughs> you know how folk are. They'll say something and then they'll put but right behind it. And it eradicates everything you just said. I'm healed by the stripes of Jesus, but. Well, you just erased all what you just said. Amen. Amen. They put that nevertheless in there and wiped everything out. Nevertheless, the people be strong that dwell in the, in the land, and the cities are walled and very great, and moreover the son of, of the children of Anak are there. The Amalekites dwell in the land of the south, the Hittites and the Jebusites, and the Amorites dwell in the mountains, and the Canaanites dwell by the sea and by the coast of Jordan. And Caleb still the people before Moses and said, Let us go up at once and possess it, for we are well able to overcome it. But the men that went up with him said, we be not able to go up against the people, for they are stronger than we. And they brought up an evil report of the land, which they had searched out, a search unto the children of Israel, saying, The land through which we have gone to search it is a land that eateth up the inhabitants thereof, and all the people that we saw in, the, uh, in it are men of great stature. And there we saw the giants, the sons of Anak, which come of the giants. And we were in our own sight as grasshoppers, and so we were in their sight. What do you see? 